I'm Eric Matei from MateiRealty.ca. Welcome to another installment of Wednesday Wisdom. Last year, we discussed TRESA, which are the new rules that affect several facets of how we trade real estate in Ontario. The one I'd like to discuss now, which is starting to already come to fruition here, disclosing competing bids. Sellers have the right to be able to disclose closing date, prices, deposit amounts, etc., of competing bids throughout a process. So when everyone first presents, they might disclose everything. The next round when the offers come back, they might not disclose anything or part of things. I would suggest in the market that we're in now, that is not the right move. We're already actually seeing prudent agents put in their listing, seller will not disclose terms of competing offers. Why? Buyer may be at a disadvantage going forward if another competing buyer knows what they were willing to pay on a property. Also, a buyer feels safer in this age of privacy that their terms are not disclosed to other parties. So as a seller, you need a bit of empathy to draw people in, especially in a market that's a bit slower. So as a broker, I would give advice to clients right now that the smart play is don't disclose competing terms for more than one reason, privacy, and allow the bids to work themselves into a position where they're comfortable without offering information to other parties about competing bids. Now, are you allowed to under the new rules? Yes, should you? That's a different story that you can work out with your agent or us if you use us. I'm Eric Mate, I'm discussing competing bids and disclosure with Tressa, and this is another installment of Wednesday Wisdom.